Good morning, and welcome to the Falcon Report. How are you doing, bud? I am doing well. Thanks for asking, Sam. Here are some things that we are going to be showing today. We have Marcos with Shakespeare Miss Workwin's room with Jessica and Jordan to interview them both about the play, Much Ado About Nothing. Thanks, Ben. Hi, I'm Marcos. What to do sixth grades and the 16th centuries have in common? Well, I'm going to talk to you about the Shakespeare play, Much Ado About Nothing. Specifically, two main characters, Benedict and Beatrice, and their teacher, Miss Workman. Oh, Benedict, I'm surprised to see that you're still talking. No one marked you? I'm Jessica. I am Jordan. Um, I play the part of Lady Beatrice. I play the royal Benedict. My character, um, Beatrice, she's really sarcastic and funny. Yeah, S same here. We're both, we're both sarcastic and funny, and that's why uh, my my friends have to, uh, our friends have to play a trick on us to get married. Woohoo! We have a pretty fun class this year, so I thought a comedy would be a good choice for this year's class. Um, and all of Shakespeare's plays, in order to be considered a comedy, have to end in marriage. If they don't end up getting married, then it is not considered a comedy anymore. Thanks, Marcos, for that awesome story. That play looks funny, huh? Yeah, I hope that they, it turns out good when, they, when it's in April. Yeah, they're two, per the perf act two perfect actors for the part. They both use really good acting and sarcasm when they're talking to each other. Yeah. My name is Avali, and I'm going to be talking about the Teacher of the Year Throwdown. Could you give us a hint in what the prize might be for the Teacher of the Year? Well, at the school level, they will be recognized in the faculty, and there's usually a banner that we have to hang up and letting people know that they are the Teacher of the Year. For the district level, um, whoever is named Teacher of the Year, there will be some other types of recognitions that they have, a plaque and a nice dinner. Nice. When do you give the Teacher of the Year prize? Well, next week there will be a selection committee that will take the nominations that the parents turned in and nominations that the staff made and they will select one person to be that Teacher of the Year for Sprucewood Elementary and then that will be turned into our district and then they will announce that sometime around the end of March, 1st of April. I'm here with Mrs. Graham, who is a previous Teacher of the Year winner. I'm going to ask Mrs. Graham some questions about being Teacher of the Year. I think I just got lucky last year. There are a lot of wonderful teachers at Sprucewood, and I was just lucky that I was chosen for that. So I think any of the Dynamite teachers at Sprucewood could win. We have a lot of wonderful teachers here that could win that award, so we'll see who gets it. I like coming to school because Mrs. Graham is my teacher. I like her. Um, she was excited about learning and that gets her students excited about learning. I think another thing too is just how well she works with parents and communicates with them and tries to make them a partner in that learning process so that they're involved with their child's education. And then from the staff was just how well she interacts with everybody on the staff and how positive and friendly she is. We have only one announcement, which is the 6th grade fair on March 22nd. I think that's all the time we have for today. Yeah, I think so too. So, yes, yeah, so just remember, Spruce and students are safe, respectful, and, and responsible. responsible. And have an awesome weekend. See ya!